Hello, I want to show you how you can select all of the predecessor nodes and edges in a diagram using YED. Here I have a family tree diagram with all of the ancestors of a particular node highlighted in blue. Let me show you how you can create this effect. I'll back out the changes I've made so far. Start by selecting a node and then selecting tools, select elements. In the general tab, we're going to have nothing selected. In the nodes tab, we'll say use this criteria, select that. Select is set to predecessors of selected nodes. And the maximum path distance, which is the number of generations to select, is set to whatever number you need. Check the edges tab. Make sure that this criteria is not used. Same thing for bins, nodes, and edge labels. We're not using this criteria for this search. Click OK, and all of the nodes are selected. The first step after selecting all the nodes is to raise the selection up. This will bring the edges we're interested in to the top layer. And we'll also want to color the edges. Come over to the property view, fill color, select the color you want to fill the nodes, and you can also change the label color. I'll choose white so there's a high contrast. Okay. With the nodes selected, we'll want to unselect them before we start the next step. So click edit, unselect, and all the edges, all the nodes are unselected. Select the starting node again, and now we're going to start highlighting the edges. Tools, select elements. We're going to start in the general tab and check the select inverse. And then the nodes criteria stays the same and we'll click OK. Now every other node has been selected. Let's go down to our starting node. Hold shift and select it. So now it's unselected. The next step is to select the edges we want. Let's go back up to tools, select elements. The general tab will keep select inverse checked. In the nodes tab, we'll uncheck use this criteria. In the edges, now we're going to use this criteria. The select field is set to selected nodes. Press OK. Now the edges we're interested in have been selected. Let's come over to the properties view and change our edge color to the color we want. We can make the line thicker. And now we can see that we've colored all of the predecessors of our selected node. I hope this tip helps you create the diagram that you want. Take care.